I always had an idea when I was a kid and I used to sit in traffic jams with all my parents that I wanted to start a business where we had a load of scooters. Boxes Come on the back. Just weave in between and sell your shit at like, uh, right, triple yeah. the price. But that's a good idea. I never thought about it, picking up and taking you on somewhere else. If you could get someone on like a two-seater moped, you could get along. Someone could get in your car and drive it out of the traffic for you and someone else could whiz you along through yeah. the traffic. That would be brilliant. God, there's people pay for that. Traffic jams is the one thing I can't do. I get like a, in a rage and I have this yeah. overwhelming desire to ram cars. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like just, just, just to like just <laughs> ram a car. No, I'm not going to Yeah, no, I feel, the, I feel this. I, to be honest, I do feel the same. And there are certain drivers on the road, you feel like there's certain things that if they do, it should be legally acceptable to ram them off the road. Yeah. Like I, if they're hogging the center lane, yeah. or someone should be tea, overtakes tea you pack, and yeah. then slows down, and then you're yeah. like, oh, what an idiot. And you overtake them again, they go around up. them, and they do the same thing. Yeah. And they get in front of you and then slow down, like instantly through the barrier, just I see you absolutely later. agree that hogging a centre lane, you should be allowed to do a T-pack manoeuvre. <laughs> totally legal to do it. Yeah, you just got to make sure it's clear around you and if they go spinning off into the centre of the motion or the side, that's fair play. That'll teach them their lesson. They won't yeah, do that again. two strikes and yeah. you're out. <laughs> you're allowed I'm sure, to, I'm sure you, that you've I, got I to, used to want to like make up a system that would like be a car to car via Bluetooth or something, so it would... Check out the yeah, independent trotters. Yeah, independent the, trotters. Um, well, you're a wanker, get out of the middle lane. Yeah, or just like, that was my right of way or whatever. There could be a selection of things and it would come yeah. to them. I mean, it would just increase road rage. But yeah, you almost need like a, surely there could be a government backed <laughs> judiciary system that would yeah. see dash camera footage. No, you've got to do the obligatory cut across them in front of them into the inside lane to indicate that's what they should be doing, to give them their one chance of doing the right thing. But if they then don't do it, you could slot them. Yeah, exactly. So if you've got the footage on your thing, you could be yeah. like, report incident. Yeah. Someone would instantly come back from a member of the police or government or whatever, and be like, <laughs> and yeah. authorise a team Yeah, bag. like, yeah. <laughs> we authorise Deadly, authorized, deadly, deadly force authorised. <laughs> this guy doesn't deserve to be on the road. Yes, I'd love that. That'd be quality. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be there in your car and you just literally for a moment have just not really concentrated on what's happening in traffic <laughs> you're spinning off into the spinning you off you just into literally the smash into the back of them write them off leave them squished up the back end of a lorry and then along comes a scooter that picks you up you and can imagine you. that but, compensate you for but the... yeah be tea packed again <laughs> bloody hell I told you stop cutting people up I love it we've got to get that pushed through I reckon that's um What's that? What's that political party that's doing quite well? That's like all right wing at the moment. Um, oh, what are they called? UK Independent. Yeah, UKIP. And they'd, they'd go for it. They'd go for it big time. Oh, but they'd probably the biggest offenders. <laughs> they almost should be like. Also, there would be other rules. For example, like someone like two strikes and you're out. But if you've got like a like a Jesus fish thing on the back. Yes. Nothing against Christians, but you're a bad driver if you've got one of those. Yeah. If you've got a baby on board, no, actually that's yeah. that's bad. But still, all those awful things you get on the back of cars, that instantly removes one of your strikes. CCTV <laughs> camera sticker. Yeah, a sticker that says you've got CCTV or whatever. Do you know the one that gets me, and you're probably not on that, well, your missus does it, is horses on board, mm. or caution horses. Why is it my problem yeah. that you've decided to put horses on the road in a horse I like box? caution race horses. Right? Yes. <laughs> if your horse is spooked by the fact that I've driven by it at 60 mile an hour on a dual carriageway, that is your yeah, problem, if you don't wanna, yeah, not mine. You, yeah. Let's not get into the whole thing and it's acceptable to leave a great big shit in the middle of the path as well from a horse, but it isn't from a dog. Yeah. That upsets me as well. I want to set yeah, off no. all the people that were whinging about their old mobility thing now, aren't they? I reckon but that, yeah, like, that is definitely, if I came to power, top of the list would be instant, you know, <laughs> judge, jury and executioner on the road. Yeah, I like it. Joe's Law. I like if it. someone does more than one traffic offence against you, you're allowed to murder yeah, It comes them. back to what we were saying earlier, though. If people have proper consequences for their own actions, then uh, people will be a lot more cautious about what they do, won't they? That's very true. And if, for example, you feel like you're going to miss a turning or something, so you cut someone up, like if you know that the other option is you will get pushed off a railway bridge by that car, you'll go to the next. You'll junction. be quite grateful that you got to go to the next junction yes, and come back around will, and yeah. still get to see like family. A, like a normal day. person, yeah. like in Devon when they've decided that they're trying to find the uh, Airbnb they're stopping at, and it's okay to keep a, a main road 
flipping blocked up while you try and reverse into a gateway rather than just go to the next bloody spot. Yeah. Now, admittedly, this new government-backed programme that we are trying to push through may cause some issues when it comes to buying a car, but don't worry, because Vehicle Score have got you covered. It's the free website to give you a score on your car based on its MOT history, age, mileage, and many other factors. If, for example, I put in a registration of an Audi A5 I bought at auction recently, we can get a score, which is 752 out of 909. They consider that good. We can scroll down, see what the good bits are, see the bad bits, over 10 comments on recent MOTs, mileage is above 100,000. You can get lots of vehicle details, find out whether it's MOT tax or not. Check out the mileage tracker, make sure that it hasn't been clocked. You can also get all the vehicle performance and many other things on here, including an AI mechanic, should you have an issue with your car and you want to find out what's going on. And then if you're going to hand over your money and you want to make sure that it hasn't been smashed up in a government-approved TPAC manoeuvre, then you will need the Ultimate Report Plus. It's £11.97, but if you use my code SHIFTINGMETAL20, it will take 20% off, making it just £9.58, and it will check the car's history, let you know whether it's been an insurance write-off, it's category vehicle, whether it's got finance against it, whether it's ever been in a salvage auction, whether it used to be a taxi, and many other factors, and it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run.